Hi everyone, and as promised, I'm back with part two of my uh, Mod Fans P36-2 review. Now, about a week ago, I reviewed the Chinese version of the kit. It was supposed to be the English version, but uh, the seller made a mistake. I'm happy to say that today I collected the English version of the kit. Now, the only difference between the two that I can see is that the English version has a sticker saying sells outside of China. Other than that, the boxes are pretty much identical, so I can kind of understand the confusion there. I'm going to put the other one aside because I've obviously taken a look at that in my previous video. Uh, let's just have a look at the English version. Now, I have sort of cheated by unboxing this beforehand and installing batteries and the like, but I'll just give you a quick look at the box again. So it's, it's exactly the same as the last video. The same, the same box, the same pictures. There's no real difference in terms of uh, the colour on the pictures or the laser or anything like that. In the box itself, you get the same thing as you got with the Chinese kit. You get the back plane for the IT01 Megatron. A couple of Kremzik. Still no yellow one, unfortunately, so I, I'm still without a yellow figure. And of course, the uh, the main reason for the kit in my eyes, the upgraded fusion cannon. Let's figure out which side of this I've already sliced. Put all that to one side. Let's take a look at the cannon. And as you can see, it's pretty much identical to the previous mod fans and also to MP36's cannon. Um, aside from the fact that obviously it doesn't extend as far as MP36, so the scope would be slightly shorter. Um, it does come, I think hopefully it will show up okay on here, it comes with a purple switch on the back. Not the red one that was on the uh, previous Mod Fans kit I had. If I bring that in, you can hopefully see that there is a difference in, in hue between the two. One's red, one's purple. I don't know how well that shows up. But, uh, yeah, it's not really the aesthetics that I'm interested in. It's the, the functionality. So, just to reiterate from the last video, this was... Some elements of this I, I quite enjoyed, um, but I really got this mainly because, or, or wanted this, I should say, as it was a gift. I really wanted it for the um, the English voice clips and the purple LED. We'll go through some of the sounds again just to do a quick comparison. Um, quickly on the Chinese model, you have the transformation sound. And then on the English model, still pretty much the same. The sound is still clipped on the transformation sounds, which is a bit annoying. If we move down a notch on the back of the cannon, we get to the first set of voice clips. Now there are six on this first notch, if memory serves. And I think on the Chinese cannon, the first notch is the English voice clip selection. So let's just try that again. Now that's all six. I think I should have got back around to the first one. Yep, there we go. So let's listen to the uh, the English cannon and see how that sounds. And again, that sounded a bit clipped to me right at the end. 
Um, although the quality did sound a little bit better than the Chinese version. Nice movie quote there. Yeah, again, back round to the first one, and that's definitely clipped. Uh, but overall, I think the quality's better, and you get some nice movie quotes in there. Um, if we move down to the third notch on the Chinese canon, you get just that. You get Chinese voice clips. Fair enough if you speak Mandarin or whatever it is, but I don't. Let's listen to the English canon, and this is why I wanted it, because you get another five, I believe, clips on the English canon. Maybe six, actually. I wasn't counting then. But, uh, yeah, I think those clips, I mean, they're from the movie. I'm assuming they got them from the Blu-ray. But the quality, to my ears anyway, sounds better than the other clips on either canon. And they're some of his most iconic quotes as well, so I'm really happy to have them. That's what I wanted the canon for, and I'm really glad I finally got them. Now, moving on to the last notch. This is the... Uh, a little stiff on this one compared to the other one on the English one sorry but uh, yeah this is the the fusion cannon sound the proper fusion cannon sound now that was present on the Chinese version albeit and hopefully this will show up you can see the different color LEDs in the front there so on the Chinese one we get this red LED with the proper fusion cannon sound which is halfway cool on the English one, we get the fusion cannon sound with the proper purple LED. So now we've got a pretty much entirely GUN accurate Megatron fusion cannon. And sound wise, I think the quality is pretty much identical. I have got newer batteries in this Chinese one. Um, because I swapped the Chinese one into the English one and had to put new ones in the Chinese one. So I think that's why that one sounds a little bit louder at times, but yeah. For all intents and purposes, they're identical. Uh, put that Chinese one aside. So anyway, as I said, this was just a quick update video, mainly because I said I would, and because I'm glad that I finally got what I was expecting. It's, um, yeah, I mean... This was a little bit more expensive. It was the best part of £20 instead of the 13 or 14 that the Chinese one cost. But I think it's worth the extra money for me. It's, you know, I've, I've, with the IT Megs being so close to the G1 animation, this really just is the icing on the cake. The only minor sort of QC issue I have is that the screw on this one doesn't, the thread doesn't bite properly. Um, but it mainly stays in with friction. And to be honest, once it's in on his arm, it'll, you know, it won't, it's not going to move when it's in situ, put it that way, because of the panel that goes there on Megatron's arm, it'll hold it in place. But yeah, other than that, it's, you know, there are a few scuffs on it, but there are a few scuffs on the, um, the Chinese one and on the IT cannon that came with it, and even on my official MP36 cannon, so it's not really too much to, to get worked up about there. If you are a Megatron fan and 
have chronic OCD like me, uh, you'll you'll probably want some sort of um, <coughs> uh, you know really G1 accurate representation of the character, and this this uh, ticks all the boxes. I love the new sound clips. I uh, love the purple. I'm just going to keep playing with that because I think that looks fantastic. Uh, it's even more vibrant in person. Um, I love the sound. And yeah, there are a few technical issues with the sound clips. Um, but on the whole, they're really great. So anyway, I, uh, I hope this has been of use to someone. Just a quick update, as I said. And until next time, take care.